I have a little fight. I have something to nosh. <laughs> Come here. Help me. Help me. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch EHG, the studio behind LE drop patch 1.0.5 and it appears that we have more bug fixes in the works and as you can see above my head yes the subathon is still going we are currently on day 29 and literally just a few minutes ago we were down to 50 seconds on the subathon and then this amazing community got the clock back to two hours. So I said this is uncapped. It is still uncapped. If you want to come hang out, first link in the description. Day 29. All right. We are doing a live recording right now. Last Epoch patch 1.0.5. Hello, travelers. In today's patch, we're fixing a list of things for you. And just to be clear, there's nothing huge in here. Not like... Oh no, my marksman that doesn't shoot arrows is now broken. They didn't do anything like that, but there is some stuff in here. Improvements have been made to the monolith visuals and performance along with several bug fixes. Fix a bug where some channeling movement skills such as Rampage could end abruptly in the Alpine Hall's mono echo. Fix an issue where trees obscuring your view in the Hidden Oasis monolith echo. Okay, this is something we have been joking around for like, I don't know, over a year. We call this immersion. Where like you're running and all you see is palm trees. We have to test this to see if it's truly gone. Added a fix that would warn players when files must be verified. That's interesting. Fix loot filter toggle X sensitivity. Now this one is interesting because we were messing around with this in game and I ended up having some problems and other people ended up having problems, but then I ended up fixing it through Alt Z. So anyways, be careful with hitting X right now sensitivity fix bugs where the following skills damage areas were not scaling with area modifiers from the tree or other items this one i didn't know about abyssal echoes dancing strikes erasing strike forge strike healing hands necrotic border and reap area effect never actually did anything to them so that has now all been fixed so far all good things fix passive skill tree localization issues Updated visuals for announcement banners, updated unique rewards icon and monolith from ring to the generic icon. And I will throw this on screen right now. So normally you think like, oh, am I getting a ring? No, now it's like this little star. You'll see it. Added missing name to graveyard skills and passive. Fix a bug where player's falcon could fail to be unsummoned after the player has died. Fix a bug where Warpath could cause players to become stuck in place. This is a big one. Fix a bug where Drain Life and Blood Pack and Ghost Flame with Malice would stop channeling at very low health. Now, I get asked over and over and over again why I don't use Ghost Flame. And it's because when I did use it, I hit this bug where I would stop channeling all the time. I would sit there still in the animation, but I wasn't doing any damage because it would stop. So I feel like now we have to go back and play more Ghost Flame to see if this has been fixed and maybe it's going to feel really, really good. Fix a bug where healing hands was still scaling with cast speed instead of melee attack speed on blade was allocated. That's good. Fix a bug where gathering storm was still scaling with melee attack speed instead of cast speed when wielding a staff with Lagunian democracy was allocated. Fix a bug where Thunder Tempest from Tempest Strikes Cloud Burst Conduit could not hit enemies. Fix a bug where added spell damage affix with Tempest Strike did not work. That's really good. And then a lot of grace periods. So I don't know if everybody's heard about this grace period, but ultimately, like, there's a grace period where you can't get hit and people were using this to not die. People love trying to break these games. I don't know what it is. The grace period for your minions now ends when your grace period ends. Fixed a bug where attempts to cast minion targeted abilities with dread shade on minions that were in grace period would always fail. Fixed a bug where stationary minions would never leave grace period, resulting in them never attacking. So working on grace period, UI. Fix a bug where items sold online mode were displaying original price in the buyback tab. Fix a bug preventing defensive conversions from displaying in the character sheet online and other. Fix a bug where soul embers would persist after the dungeon was completed. Fix a bug causing void despair to be invisible. Fix an error when leaving offline mode. Fix a bug where players spawning into new locations reveal part of the map too soon. Okay, so this is what we have for 1.05 and i will say a lot of these bugs in here i have encountered and i think what ehg is doing is perfect okay and i'm not like oh aaron's shilling for ehg no 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 
I think this late into cycle one, knowing that PoE is about to drop a league, knowing that D4 is about to drop a season with and PTR is coming, knowing no rest for the wicked is coming. At this point, literally just work on bug fixes. Get the game as stable as possible. Knock out all this stuff and put all of your effort into cycle two to make sure this new pinnacle boss is gonna be absolutely awesome. This is exactly what I wanna see. Bugs and things that are driving people crazy are now getting fixed. In the comment section, is there something that is bugged that's driving you nuts? Let me know in the comment section because right now I'm gonna be giving community feedback to EHG. They wanna know what we wanna see nerfed, what we wanna see fixed, what you wanna see buffed. So let me know in the comment section. I'm done. Subathon continues. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.